So today, we're gonna do some bushcrafting. You know, I've been thinking lately that if you were stuck out in the woods, away from everything, and I mean away from your house, away from your bug out bag, away from all of your camping supplies and bushcrafting supplies, even away from your truck, and you didn't have anything except a knife. This is our Harbor Freight survival knife. You didn't have anything except a knife. What would be the first thing that you would need to do? You need to do, get some shelter made. So assume you didn't have any cordage, and I hate that word cordage. It's string or rope or twine, but we're gonna use that word. If you didn't have any cordage, what would you use to tie it together with? So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make two or three different styles of string or twine or cordage from all natural materials that are you can find anywhere in the state of Florida and most of the Southeast. So stay with me. Okay, one cool thing we have in Florida is, especially out in the swamps, we got vines. These are big, thick water vines. That's not really too good to make rope from because they're not very flexible. But these things, they grow out of the ground and they'll go, they'll run all the way up this tree, all the way up into the branches. So, you know, uh, the, these are excellent for making rope or cordage out of. And there's just tons and tons of them. Most of them are too brittle. You know, these things are snapping right off in my hands. To do it, you gotta find a live one. Uh, to make this in but you got unlimited supply of the natural resource to make all kinds of rope and be excellent for a ridge line and check this out right over in the next tree there's a bunch of more vines uh, here's a good one and it goes way up there but this isn't this one this one kind of snapped off uh, it's not growing in the ground. We got to find a live one. Uh, so man, look at this. Right on the next tree over. Oh, there's two. And yep, they're, they're totally connected in the ground. Right over here. We're going to go cut them off. And for all of you uh, conservationist sallies who say you shouldn't kill this vine, let me tell you. These vines go all the way up and they grow into the branches of the tree and they actually kill the tree if you get too many vines in the tree. So don't worry about these vines. There's enough to go around. So we're gonna go cut this off. All right, here's where the vine comes to the ground. And this is actually one vine that branches off into two. So we're just gonna cut that off and we're gonna go to the other side. All right, now we got this vine coming through here and we gotta be careful because this thing's got spikes all over it and I don't have any gloves. So this is one main stalk that branches off into two main stalks. So I'm gonna cut this again right here. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna see if I can pull one or both of these down out of the tree. <laughs> Woo! Man, that's a big one. Okay, so let me show you what I got. I got two vines. One is a little bit bigger than the other one, but it's about a, we got about a quarter of an inch thick there and we got maybe three eighths of an inch thick there. You gotta be careful because these vines have spikes on them and they have these little sharp places. All I'm gonna have to do is skin that down and process it a little bit with my knife. And these are gonna be instant rope and instant ridge line. So I'm gonna start skinning these down and we'll show you how we attach them to the tree. It's 
See, they get these little spines. And all you do is just skin those right off. And they won't kill your hands. Now you can grab it like a piece of rope. You gotta do this to the whole length of it. So, let me show you what we come up with. All right, now we got our vine cleaned off and we're gonna attach it to this tree. And this is really easy how we're gonna attach it to the tree. We're just gonna put it around the tree, make sure we get a, a place where the spikes aren't because I didn't clean all the spikes off of there. All right. And see how this thing, it bends? And all I'm gonna do is, let me go from this side. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this around the tree and I'm gonna tie it with a half hitch. And I mean, it's just gonna go over the line and then I'm gonna go under the line and it's gonna pinch if I can get it in there. And it's gonna pinch. Probably gonna have cut up hands after this. All right, so let me get a close up of that. All right, all I did was tie this around. And if you want to, you can go back around and tie it again. But, ow, man, it's sharp. But all this is, just tie it around. And this vine, just like a rope, takes a bite in this oak tree. And I'll show you how hard I'm gonna pull it here in a second. All right, this vine's around the tree with a half hitch. Pull it. Ugh. That's as hard as I can pull on it, and it's not going anywhere. Now we're gonna go to the other side and tie the other side on to the palm tree. All right, here we are on the other side. And all I'm gonna do is get a couple of these live ones out of the way. I'm just gonna go under all these live ones. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the tree. And when I pull this tight, it's it's virtually a ridge line. So I'm gonna tie this off and I'm gonna show you our ridge line in a second. Alright, here we go. This ain't nothing special. All I did was pull it tight and I wrapped it around the tree three times. And now we've got we've got a ridge line. And it's tied on to the tree on this side. And it's not going anywhere. Let me show you how strong it is. Let's say you found a tarp. Let's say you found the hunk of junk tarp. That's a ridge line. So you can get some smaller vines and tie these off and stake them in the ground. And you got, you got a shelter. So vines, number one. Okay, number two favorite plant is a cabbage palm. And this is just one leaf that I cut off of a cabbage palm. Don't worry about cutting live leaves off of cabbage palms. There's literally an unlimited, infinite supply of cabbage palms, all right? If you take them off the bottom, you don't hurt the plant, you actually help it. You can use every bit of this cabbage palm. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to, what to do with the leaves, but we're gonna concentrate on the trunk first. And this is a small one. The thicker you can get, the better for this one. So check this out. Okay, first of all, you're gonna cut both sides off, kind of as square as you can get it. I'm trying to get this in the frame. Kind of as square as you can get it. There's one side there to the other side. And you're gonna go all the way to the edge. It's got a real hard spline on both sides. 
and you're just going to take your knife, all right, and when you get it started, you can cut it as thin as you want, or as thin as you can, on the edge, that's a good one, all right, now, what I've done is, I've just started this edge, all right, and just peel this edge off. It'll peel all the way down and it won't break because there's fibers in it. All right. Now you can have something that looks like this. Let me show you what to do with this. All right. I'm not kidding you guys. It's 98 degrees out today. So here's that little, here's that little piece that we cut off from our palm leaf uh, trunk let's call it and this is a small one this is only about maybe 18 inches or two feet long you can find some palm branches that are four or five feet long okay so this is the easiest thing ever you know take your finger whatever finger you want to use <laughs> and all you're gonna do is take this and you're gonna wrap it around your finger and what you're doing is you're just gonna you can hear this click and that's the outside bark kind of cracking but this won't break because these fibers are super super strong so we're just gonna take our finger and hold it we're gonna wrap it around our finger if this was dead it would break if you can wrap it around your finger now you got rope and I heard it cracking a little bit but just work it a little bit okay now, you can unwind it, you know, maybe wrap it around again. Oop. All you're doing is softening up the outside bark. None of it, virtually none of it broke off. It's all still there. Now we're gonna unwind it. And we're gonna go over to the tree. I'm gonna show you how to use this. All right, here we are at our tree. Say you got a piece of the roof of your shelter or the wall and you need to attach it to this tree. We're gonna take our piece of fiber that we just cut. We're gonna attach it to the tree. There you go. Now you can hang this, you can hang other stuff, you can loop it around the tree. Here's an easy way to make some rope to attach branches. And this is really, really strong. And you can't hardly get it off of there. You literally have to cut this stuff off. So let's go, this is number two. Let's go see what number three is. All right, this one is gonna be just a little bit more involved. This time we're gonna use some of the fan leaves. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the middle to get the longest ones. So, we're just going to say two or three of these guys, okay, put that aside, you got three or four here, what we're going to do is just, and these will split very readily, okay, there's one, there's two, there's three, uh, I want just a little bit thinner one, so you can split these right down. So now we got three pieces. We got three pretty even pieces. Almost the same length. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the end. And all we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot. And all I'm doing is I'm just rolling these over. And I'm just going to tie a single half hitch. I'm going to work it to the end. Now we've got something like that. Now we're going to braid these. So here's how we're going to do it. Okay, now we're just going to braid these. What we're going to do is we're going to start it off with two on one side, the left side, and one on the other side. And we're just going to take the outside and we're going to put it to the middle. Okay. Now you got two on the right side and one on the left side. We're going to take the outside one and put it to the middle. Now you're back to two on the left, one on the right. 
You always go from the outside and I'm just folding these over to the middle okay to the middle to the middle to the middle and now you just keep going braiding don't ask me how I know how to braid <laughs> just don't ask me I'm not gonna tell you now we're doing you just keep braiding this and it goes pretty quick once you start okay now you're getting something like this getting a braided rope so I'm gonna continue braiding this and I'll be right back okay now we've got this much braided up in just a couple of minutes and that is strong all right the only thing I'm going to do now is when you get to the end just tie another little half hitch in the end now you got a piece of braided line okay that you can wrap around some smaller stuff or you can add on to this and make this as long as you need to make it you can make it two feet eight feet ten feet twelve feet but you've got Super strong rope, super strong twine out of three braided pieces of palm leaf. This is really, really cool. That'll hold up. That's as hard as I can pull on it. And that's not going to break. Uh, the only thing it does is make it tighter. This is just braided line. All right, let's go look at one more. All right, this one's pretty cool also. This is just a couple of leaves from the middle that I'm just separating. See these fibers? Man, these fibers are awesome. I'm just separating this leaf. I'm not even really doing it very carefully, you know? I, I mean, it's just, we're just tearing off some fibers, trying to get us a little bit of a length of stuff. All right, there's a good one. Uh, I want a little bit longer one than that. We want something that's pretty small something like this all right just about the same length and these you can just separate with your fingers just like this just kind of separate this on up all right there's another good one uh, one more well, actually, you know, all we need is two for this one. Okay, so we're going to come over and we got, now let's make a longer one. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, now all we need is two for this one. All right, now we're going to take these. And we're going to go just about to the middle. We're going to start twisting. Just twist one way. Okay. Okay. And twist the other way a little bit. Until it can fold over. Alright. All we're doing is folding it right over to make a little loop. Now we're going to hold the loop in our hands. We've got two on one side, one on the other side. Now. We're going to use the clockwise, counterclockwise method. So we're going to take these and we're going to spin them clockwise and we're going to take these and flip them under counterclockwise. And we're going to hold it or pinch it with our thumb and finger. Now we're going to do this clockwise and counter. And then clockwise and then counter. All right. And then clockwise and then counter clockwise and a counter clockwise and a counter all we're doing is we're spinning this see it's starting to take the shape of some twisted twine now you'll hear it crack a little bit but that's that's just nothing but the outside covering we keep twisting it with our we keep 
pinching it with our thumb and forefinger as we twist it, okay? Flip it under, clockwise, counter. Clockwise, counter. Now, you see what we've got? We've got braided line, which is awesome. <laughs> when you need to, when you need to lengthen it, and now I can let it go, and it's not going to untwist. Okay. When you need to lengthen it, just bring over another length, kind of bend it over. All right. Put it in here. Now, twist clockwise, counter, counter it. Clockwise, counter it. Clockwise, counter it. Clockwise, counter it. Now, what you've done is you can you can keep adding a long length on this side and then when you run out of length here or you run out of length here just bend it this way so the long side is long the side that you need the length on and the short sides on the other side that way this side will get longer then that side will get longer then this side will get longer then that side then this side then that side and you keep going and going and going and you'll have braided palmetto line and that is probably the next strongest one right next to that big vine that I had in the beginning so what did we learn today all right what did we learn today well <laughs> we learned that it's 112 degrees in shade and I am sweating like a mother honestly it's still 98 degrees out here and it's still pretty hot in the shade so if you got in a situation where you don't have any of your stuff, but all you have is a knife. This is our Harbor Freight survival knife. We're gonna do a video just on this pretty soon. All you have was a knife or a pocket knife, or you found a bottle and you could break it, something to cut with. If you're down in the Southeast or Florida uh, specifically, and uh, you, you're in some cabbage palms or palm trees, you have an unlimited amount of resources. Now I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, Matt, I ain't got no vines where, I am, where I'm at, and I ain't got no cabbage palms where I'm at. Yeah, but you guys, you got the little saplings that you can strip the bark off of in three or four long strips, and you can do that clockwise counterclockwise spin that I was just doing, and you can make some really, really nice twine. And then you can braid it together and you can make rope. So use your head, make something from nothing make rope or twine or string or ridge line from a vine that i did okay find yourself a vine skin the spikes off of it and tie it to a tree and, and it, once you have that ridge line there now you can tie multiple vines down and you can make a grid and you can use these palmetto leaves like shingles and you can make virtually a gilligan's island hut out of these things so the wonderful palm leaf, the wonderful cabbage palm, saw palmetto, you know, you can use for some other stuff, but the basic cabbage palm or palm tree, a lot of good uses. You can make cordage really, really easily out of that stuff. Whew, mosquitoes out here too. So, man, it is really hot. So, I hope you like this on making something from nothing, making natural cordage in Florida and the Southeast. Once again, this is Matthew, Florida boy, and I will see you on the trail.